Hey everybody, this is Steve Moore, owner of Run More, this fabulous brick and mortar running shop located in Westminster, Maryland. Today I wanted to do a little deep dive into the Ultra lineup and talk specifically about the fit of each model. It's probably one of the questions we get asked most, not only from people in the comments on our videos, but people calling and emailing saying, I've run in version X, what's version Y? And really over the last year or two, Ultra has tried to make it a little easier for you to line up a shoe based on your foot shape. Now they actually have sort of categories between a slim fit, a standard fit, original fit, and now they have some wide options. But what we have found in here and what I've noticed in fitting people over the years is it's not necessarily that cut and dry. There's actually a little bit of variance in there. So I thought we'd just take a minute and hopefully help you guys make a little better educated decision for yourself when you're trying to find the right ultra shoe for you. So I thought we'll kind of go from the, the more narrow and going all the way up to the widest shoe. So hopefully this will help you when you're selecting a model. I wanted to start first with the brand new Rivera 3. Uh, first off, because it's the newest shoe on our wall. And also I think this is probably one of the most beautiful colors. It's probably, at least we've had this for about a week now, it's a color and shoe that people are picking up the most frequently, I think, because it just looks really good. This is a slim fit everyday trainer. Um, this shoe is a great little gym shoe. It's a nice lively shoe you can go out do and run a couple miles in. I think it's also been one of our more popular shoes where people just pick it up as a casual every day because it looks great and it's not so wide. There's definitely those people that don't need the whole wide clowny shoe feel of some ultras. So this has a little bit of that nice bouncy lively feel to it, um, but not feeling too overly wide and it's stylish enough that you can wear with a pair of jeans and it's great for everyday comfort. So it's a slim fit everyday trainer. It's the Rivera 3. Um, now we have two shoes in the speed category and it makes sense, they're faster. I know for me, if I'm looking for a race day shoe, I want something a little more streamlined. I want something that kind of fits my foot a little bit tighter. Uh, depending on where I'm running, if I'm running maybe something that's a longer distance, I might something wider, but it's for faster stuff. I like something a little trimmer. So it makes sense, at least for me, that a slimmer fit shoe would, make, would go into the Vanish and the Vanish Carbon. So we have the Tempo and we have the Carbon. They're essentially the same shoe. One has a plate, one doesn't. What I think is interesting is that these are the two shoes with their most advanced uh, Ego Pro midsole. They're kind of doing away with the Escalante Racer. We get asked a lot looking for that shoe now and you're not gonna find it. At least for the foreseeable future, that shoe has gone away. So if you're somebody looking for a go fast shoe, these are gonna be your two best options. What's interesting is that they're much more narrow. So if you are somebody who had been in the Escalante Racer and now you're finding yourself looking for a shoe to replace that, they're quite different, not just in the stack height and the midsole and the fit, but also, you know, now we're going to a slimmer version versus the original fit of that. So if you're looking for a go fast shoe, these are really your best options. These two both fall in that Ricky Bobby, I want to go fast category. The Tempo and the Vanish Carbon. So really on the slim line, that's it. But I'm going to throw in an honorable mention. This shoe is categorized as a standard fit, but we almost treat this as a slim fit. This is the Timp 4. And really, if you're holding it up to like the Rivera, these guys are same sizes. They look almost identical, but this is supposed to be much wider. I'm not sure if it's because of the upper that they're using on here. I just actually think this is a slim fit shoe. So if somebody comes in here that's used to like the Lone Peak and they wanna try something in the trail line that's equally comparable, but maybe a little more cushion, I kind of warned them this shoe is going to fit a little bit tighter. This is a shoe I almost always have to bump people up a half size as well just to accommodate that. So if you are somebody who's on the wider side or looking for something more in that original fit or you think that the standard is going to work for you, think of this as more as a slim fit ultra. This is the Timp 4. It's a great high cushion trail model shoe that's soft enough and, and not so aggressive on the outsole that you couldn't use it as a, as a road trail combo shoe. But again, this is going to fit to me more like a slim fit, not as much as a standard fit. Now on to the most crowded line in the Ultra family, the standard fit. And same thing, not all standard fits are created the same. So I wanted to go from sort of the thinnest and narrowest of the standard and work our way up because quite honestly, you cannot tell me that these two shoes are fitting the same. They both fall into the same width category. So let's start with the most narrow of the standard. And to us, it's the provision. This is a great lightweight stability shoe. This is like the little sibling to the paradigm. Fantastic outsole, it's durable, awesome shoe. It definitely runs a little narrow for a standard fit shoe. For us here, we almost always have to size people up a half in this shoe. You know, it's probably about a quarter size short, so typically with us, we're just gonna go ahead and round people up a half in this. That's the Provision 7. 
Moving on to the new Outroad. Uh, this is actually my Outroad. As you can see, I had to kind of marathon loop it to give myself the right fit. It's a slim fit. I actually use this shoe as my as a work shoe in here a lot. I think it's a great casual shoe. It's a trail road hybrid shoe. It's a mid-cushion road trail hybrid shoe. And I've done some hiking stuff in it. I've done a little bit of light running into it. I just love the way this shoe looks and feels. And it is on the slimmer of the standard size. Um, again, the sizing as far as the length goes feels good, but just know this is a more of a narrow cut standard fit. Now we have two shoes on the trail category. These are actually on the speed trail category. It's the Mont Blanc and the Mont Blanc Boa. Um, both of these to me, same thing, probably about a quarter of a size short. Um, and they're both a little bit more on the narrow side to me. Um, you have to, you know, you have to kind of play around with the feel and fit on these to make them, at least for me, to kind of fit and feel perfect. This kind of falls closer to the middle of the road of your standard fit. These are both two trail shoes. You have basically the same shoe, one with a regular tie option and one with the Boa fit. Great options, max cushion, both in the speed trail category. And now moving on to what I would consider like a real original fit, shoe, excuse me, a real standard fit shoe. This to me fits probably like what I would easily feel and pull people and think the sizing is pretty darn accurate with it. This is the Torin. Uh, this is the Torin 6. This is a max cushion road shoe. It is a neutral max cushion road shoe. It has a nice wide forgiving toe box. It's very approachable, at least for us. It's one of the shoes people pick up the most. And because it's one of the most popular shoes for Ultra, um, a lot of people have run in different variations of it. To me, still the version 4 of the Torin probably fit the widest of all of them. And across the board, they've all kind of fit differently, but at least for us right now, Torrent 6 fits pretty accurate to size, and it's a standard fit. If we were looking at all of the Ultra shoes, to me, the Torrent is always right smack in the middle as far as where the width falls in. Now we're going to move into two shoes that are almost getting onto the original fit. They're pretty wide on the standard fit. The first being the Paradigm 6. Uh, this is our most popular Ultra shoe that we carry here in the shop. Uh, we love it. It's a max cushion stability shoe. I wish this shoe came in wide. Uh, we're gonna get into some wide models later, but I wish this shoe was wide because we have a lot of people we'd love to put in this and it's just not quite enough. This is on the wider side of a standard fit shoe. It's a max cushion, max stability shoe. One of the most comfortable shoes you put on. Uh, I have people that wear this shoe even though they don't need any stability just because it feels so well. It's very plush, very bouncy. It's got good support to it and it does have a nice forgiving toe box. It's still a standard, but for most people, this is ample room to it. And now last but not least, I actually really considered this more of an original fit. This is the Superior. This is the lowest weight, um, lowest drop shoe, excuse me, lowest weight, lowest arch pro profile shoe in the Ultra family. It is the Superior. Nice rounded toe box. It fits to me more like an original fit shoe. Uh, it's bouncy, it's responsive, it's fun, it's low weight. People looking for the most minimal. I feel the trail. I don't have lots of stability. The arch is low. I want to go and feel the ground when I'm running. It's the Superior. Nice, round, forgiving. And again, I just, I have a hard time believing that these two shoes have the same foot shaped toe box to it. I find this to be fitting much differently than this shoe, even though they're both categorized in the same width. On to the original fit, and we're gonna start with a shoe that technically is listed as a standard fit. It's interesting, when our dealer catalogs first came out last year that mentioned the Escalante 3, they listed it as an original fit shoe. And if you've gone back with the Escalante, it always was sort of that original fit shoe. Somewhere along the line, they just started to kind of rename it as more of a standard fit. In talking to some people inside the Ultra world, they have sort of decided that this shoe falls between a standard and an original. I wish it would just be called an original because it's always been a very confusing point of contention for people of what is this shoe actually? So it really kind of straddles the line between an a standard fit and an original fit. It's the Escalante 3, spectacular road shoe, light, sort of a lower cushion, light everyday trainer. It's awesome. Has a lower arch profile than some of the other ultra shoes out there on the road and trail category. It's got a nice stretchy upper. It's a spectacular shoe, especially this version. I was kind of apprehensive when it first came out. I wasn't sure I was digging it, but really it's done very well for us. It's very fun to run in. It's got a nice forgiving toe box, the Escalante 3, somewhere between a standard and an original fit. Going on to the big boy, the Olympus. In both the Olympus and in the Olympus family, some of the higher stuff, the Gore-Tex, all that stuff falls under the original fit. This is a great hiker, somebody who's doing some longer trail miles, somebody doing rockier terrain. It's rugged. It has some stability to it. It has a little bit of the guide rail system. It has sort of the wide feel down the middle here to help kind of spread out along your heel when you're moving through it. Um, it's great. 
Gore-Tex, all the things, excuse me, this is not the Gore-Tex version. This is Gore-Tex version. Fibrum outsole, durable, comfortable, rounded toe box. It's the Olympus. It's, it's the granddaddy of all the big hiking shoes out there. It's our most popular shoe for hikers, for sure, in the shop. And now uh, the Lone Peak. Who doesn't love the Lone Peak? It fits great. It's true to size. It's an original fit. It's got a rounded toe box. They continue to do a great job with the shoe. And you know, just like everything else on all of our brands, when new models come out, everybody's always really scared. Is they're gonna change it? Is it gonna be worse? What are they gonna do? I hope they don't screw it up. It seems like this shoe consistently is consistent. It's great, it fits well, it performs well. Um, it's a mid-cushion, everyday shoe. It has different versions of it that are higher, that are Gore-Tex, all that stuff. They all are in that original fit. They all fit well, they have great drainage, they have a stone guard built into it. It's everything you would want in a trail shoe or a hiking shoe, depending on what you're using it for. And we also have people that just use this. The way I use my Outroad, they'll use this shoe walking around with a pair of jeans on, because it's comfortable. It's you know, here in Maryland, we get snowy days as though we haven't had much of it this winter. It's a great day if you know, if it's a crappy weather day, you can throw this shoe on and feel comfortable in it all day. And it is that nice rounded original fit shoe. Now, the Via. It's a monster. This is really, it's called the Olympus, the Via Olympus. Although for me, it fits wider than the Olympus. And I think part of it, it could be the upper. This is a little stretchier, but this is a max cushion, neutral, wide shoe from Ultra. Uh, this has a, while it's still a zero drop because it's an Ultra, has a little bit of a meta rocker platform into it. Uh, it feels sort of like a Hoka mixed with an Ultra, uh, for lack of better description to it. Um, it's not super squishy soft. It has, it's a little denser than you might expect looking at this shoe. It's not like a big old soft marshmallow, but it's a very comfortable shoe. And again, we've had people that are using this for longer miles. I would say just as many people are coming in using this shoe for like an everyday walking shoe, somebody wearing it for work. People that just want an all day cushioned comfort shoe have found themselves to the Via. And because it's so nice and wide, people that need that extra width have found this. And because really on like the Hoka family, there's really only one shoe right now that comes in 4E. So there are people that that want to have more options and have a shoe that's probably closer to a 4E for men and like a 2E for women have found themselves coming to this shoe. Because maybe you don't want to have like a trail shoe, like a, like a Lone Peak wide or something for every day. You want something more plush and something that's more of like a road option. They're finding themselves coming to the Via. So that is sort of our, our original fit from Ultra. I gotta be honest, I wish there were more shoes that they did in the original fit. It seems like, you know, as we just went through this, there's way more shoes that are falling in the standard fit. I wish they had more options in the wide fit and the original fit because it's the original fit, right? Wouldn't it make more sense if that's where they started, they had more options. But for the time being, these are the shoes that we're currently following ourselves in the original fit. For the moment, Ultra is only offering two models in a wide option. Right now it is the Lone Peak and it is the Torrent. Um, so both of these have a standard version and a wide. And in both of those, there's only one color option available in each. I would notice that where these shoes are wide might not always be wide where people want them. It seems to be a little more wide like in the midfoot and not necessarily up here. I've also kind of felt that the shoe is not only just a little bit wider, it's also a little bit longer. So it's weird. We'll pull some like somebody for a Lone Peak in an 11 and then in the wide, they might be a 10 and a half. So just kind of keep in mind that you might need to size a little bit differently if you feel like you just need an extra width you might need to also go down a half size to go to the wide, but at least we have some options there. Again, I would love to see the Paradigm 7 come out in a wide option or some other options down the road. Maybe something like the Reveris, then you could have something in that category that's in a slim and a wide, but um, you know, we'll see what's coming down the road from Ultra. For the time being, it's just these two. I hope that was helpful for you guys. I enjoyed doing it. It's always fun to kind of refresh myself on how they line up. But really, when we're pulling shoes for people, it's not always the same as your standard here and here and here you do. There is some nuance and some variation on the line. So I hope that helped you because it's kind of stuff that we talk about here in shop all the time. Um, if you're interested in purchasing any of these fine shoes, feel free to click the links down below. Um, and if you use promo code RUNMORE, you'll save 10% on any new model shoe. And that goes for Ultra or any other stuff on our website. And if you have any questions, leave them down below or jot us an email and we'll try to get back to you as soon as we can. Hey, and if you also found this helpful, do me a solid, like and subscribe to our channel. It certainly helps us out there find new people. And if you're ever in the greater Westminster, Maryland uh, vicinity, stop by our shop, say hello, come join us for a group run. We're very friendly here. I'd like to think so anyway. Thanks a lot. Have a good day and we'll see you around town.